Testing with the EXP1000 HD makes an excellent service tool, even in a situation like this where we've got a new vehicle. But we want to record what the condition of this vehicle is prior to delivery. So I'm going to start out with a system test. No problems expected with the vehicle. Let's just go ahead and connect the tester. We are going to do a system test. In this case, it, we're going to call it a truck because it has two batteries. We can scroll to as many as six batteries, but in this case we have two, so that's what we're gonna do. They are 12 volt, they are group 31, and they are regular flooded automotive batteries, rated in CCAs at 900. It wants temperature one more time. There we go. It's testing. What we're looking for is the pack result. And here we go. Good pack, the measured voltage, the rated CCAs, and the temperature at which time we took the test. Let's go on and hit next. And we're gonna continue with the starter test. engine start was detected. The cranking voltage was 10.81 and right now we're looking at almost six seconds from the initial in input until we saw a positive voltage. We're going to go ahead and hit next and measure the alternator output. In this case we're not going to use the amp clamp, we're just going to go straight ahead and do the alternator test. So we're checking for the alternator output at idle with all the vehicle loads off. Hit next says rev the engine. You need to bring it up, you'll see the ripple increase with the graph at the bottom of the screen. Hold RPM. Idle engine, hit next. Checking for loads at idle. tells me to turn all the loads on. I've got the headlamps. And in this case, I've got a blower motor. I'll turn on high. And hit next. Checking alternator with loads on at idle. Rev the engine. Acquiring data, hold RPM. Rev detected, hit next. Analyzing charging system data. The test is already complete. The prompt is to turn off all the loads and to turn off the engine. The completed test can now be printed out and kept with the vehicle as part of its system records. We're going to go ahead and print the results. We've got our IR printer right here and it's turned on. I'll go ahead and hit print and then it tells you to make sure you're lined up. I've got my IR port going directly at the printer, and you'll have a printed result for this complete test session. As soon as the hourglass goes away from the screen, the test will be complete. Now we can look at the individual test results on paper, and there you have it.